Welcome to your Steam Deck Guide. How you can install and use Decky Loader, as well as alternative and various apps, game launches and more. Because with this you are no longer limited to the Steam library, but in addition to classics like World of Warcraft, and you can also play other Battle.net, Epic or GOG games. And also you have access to YouTube, Netflix and other streaming services. And for this you do not need any prerequisites or expensive apps. But it may be advisable to use a docking station. Because thanks to the mouse and keyboard connection, we have a much easier configuration and setup. And this setup remains manageable with about 15 minutes. We start with the installation of the Decky Loader. For this, we have to go to the desktop mode of your Steam Deck. You can find this mode if you open the Steam menu and select the desktop mode. And if you do not use a docking station with mouse and keyboard, you have to enjoy the touchscreen keyboard and the touchscreen input. However, we switch to the desktop mode with the docking station, because here not only the image is larger, but we also have the text and keyboard input. Not necessary, but recommended. Go to the left corner and select the console. And here we set our system password. This is via the console command passwd, we have the option to enter a password. And don't worry, you are not doing anything wrong. The password is not displayed, but the input is accepted. Subsequently, we open a browser. We recommend Firefox, which you can download via the Discover app on your Stream Deck. And once in the browser, we enter this address of the Decky Loader. Of course, we have linked them to you again in the video description. The Decky Loader can be downloaded for free here. And after a download, we have to rename this downloaded file again. Because for an installation, we remove the ending .download. And then we can easily install the app, whereby the Decky Loader automatically installs itself. And at this point, your set password comes back, because we are installing a new system app. To do this, we simply enter our password, which we set in the previous step, and the installation works without any problems. And when installing, you will be asked for the desired version. In any case, we recommend the stable standard version. Because with this we have the greatest compatibility. And after the installation, you have already done it and the Decky Loader is installed on your Steam Deck. And to call this up, however, we switch from desktop mode to normal Steam Deck mode. You can do this either via the options menu or at the top left with the link return to game mode. If you now go to the options menu on your Steam Deck, you have a new button in the lower bar. And that's your Decky Loader. Via this menu item, we can install apps and go through the different configuration options. Here, it is up to you which additional apps and system functions you want to use. For example, we found a storage cleaner to be very pleasant, as well as various settings and options such as the power tools. In your Decky Loader menu, you will find your own store, where you can download the various items. To do this, simply go to the small shop symbol and you have all the available options. So have fun with the various apps and the Decky Loader. And don't forget to support the project. And by the way, an update also works directly via the settings menu. But now we come to the installation of various alternative game launchers, as well as various apps such as GOG, Epic, Battle.net, YouTube, Netflix, Amazon and so. And for this, we go back to the desktop mode and look for this page. Because with the app non-Steam Launchers on Steam Deck, you have all options of installing various launches and variety of apps. Here we take the similar steps as with the Decky Loader installation. After the download, we have to re-enable the download file and remove the .download extension. Then we can simply run the file and the installation starts. And then we get a selection of which launches and which apps we want to install. And here you have the free selection. And in addition, you can also uninstall various apps and launches via the same installation steps and the same menu. Therefore, it is strongly recommended to leave the installation file on your Steam Deck. And another note, if you want to install many launches and apps, this can take some time, as they only download it gradually and installed step by step. And after confirming the installation, you will still receive the request for some shortcuts. However, this is optional and you can simply confirm this with OK. 
Subsequently, the whole thing can take some time, depending on how good your internet connection is and how fast the download speeds are. Because the various launchers and various necessary application data are downloaded from the platforms. The installation takes place here automatically and there is only a request when the respective app requires it. But there are still one or two shortcuts, especially for the Battle.net, but we'll go to that in a moment. After the installation, you have automatically added the various apps to your Steam Deck on the apps and can start the launches. But if this is not done automatically, you can add them manually, via non-Steam games. For the Battle.net, on the other hand, this opens directly after installation in your desktop mode. And here, we recommend that you maximize this window and then close it. Otherwise, there may be display errors within the Steam view, where, for example, various areas are not shown correctly displayed in the Battle.net. So again, maximize the Battle.net window in your desktop view, close the app and when you are on your Steam Deck view, you will have a normal display. After installation, you can log in regularly and also have the option of using various methods. And here again the display example, especially for the Battle.net, because the launcher starts with a fixed size. And only if you maximize this, you will have no display problems later. So you can use not only Battle.net games on your Steam Deck, but also any GOG titles, Epic Games or like YouTube, Amazon Prime, Netflix, Disney and Co. Especially for the Battle.net, however, we recommend that you run the installations for the games directly in your Steam Deck view and not in desktop mode. In our test, in addition to World of Warcraft, Hearthstone and Diablo 4, we were also able to play other titles. And at this point, again the note, the installation of third-party apps or changing to your systems, of course, at are your own risk. So make sure not to do what you don't want. And if something doesn't work for you as it should, I recommend the help area or the how-to area on the non-Steam launches page. This is very up-to-date and well-described. Here you will definitely find the workaround for help. And of course, you are also invited to our Discord. Here you will not only find help, but also one or the other player to play with. And with that, I say goodbye until next time. Have fun and thanks for watching. There's always something new here in the end.